This is Women's History Month. To mark the occasion, the White House today released the first comprehensive federal report on the status of American women in almost 50 years. They work hard for the money, but women still are not getting paid as much as men. That's among the findings in today's report. Women earn 80 percent of what their male counterparts make, up from 62 percent in 1979. But women now account for 51 percent of those in management positions and professional jobs. That's partially due to the increase in women earning college degrees. 36 percent of them did in 2009, compared to 11 percent in 1970. And the report projects women will account for nearly two-thirds of all American undergraduates by 2019. We need to make sure that as a society, we are adapting to the new changes uh, that affect women since it's half of our population. On the home front, women are marrying later, and some not at all. The number of adult women who are married, 62 percent, a 10 percent decline since 1970. And perhaps not that surprising, the report also found working women do about three hours more housework every week than their husbands. We've been living through some very tough and rough economic times, but there's a small bright spot for women in this current U.S. economy. In fact, the number of women earning $100,000 per year or more is now going up. We get more tonight from NBC's Kristen Welker. Some so if you want to have a conversation with the when Robin together, Itkin became an attorney that. two decades ago, okay, the legal field looked a lot like a scene from Mad Men. It's just so much more work. Where male executives are flanked by female assistants. Working. When I'd walk in, people would say, oh, can you bring us some drinks? But now Itkin's landscape has changed. She is one of five female partners at her Los Angeles law firm. When I'm at a meeting now, I'm rarely the only woman involved. The number of women getting paid $100,000 a year or more increased by 4% over the past two years as compared to a 4.4% decrease for men making that amount. So how is it possible that women are increasing their value in this struggling economy? Experts say it's all thanks to 30 years of progress for women in academia. Females now earn more master's degrees than men, almost as many law degrees, and almost half of all medical students are women. Laura Sestokas, a med student at Northwestern, says she's not surprised. The increase in pay that women are seeing in the professional arena is a validation of the fact that uh, women are capable of uh, doing the same things as men. But experts caution only 7% of the working population makes more than $100,000, and men still account for about 80% of six figure wage earners. And overall, women make just 83 cents to the dollar compared to men. That's partly due to the occupations women go into. Uh, Health care, education tend to be fairly low paying but it's also in part due to ongoing discrimination. And few women reach the highest level positions. Michelle Fishberg is a senior manager at a tech firm and knows how difficult it is to reach the top of the corporate ladder. It's hard to move a big ship, and so it's going to take a while before, you know, we actually see, um, I, I think, a significant parity at that level. Total parity in wages might be far off, but for some, the numbers mean the gender gap is shrinking. Kristen Welker, NBC News, Los Angeles.